If you support Kamala Harris, this video is not for you, but it is for your Mimas and your Papas and your Uncle Otis and your Aunt Darlene. So stick around. We're gonna spot some of the disingenuous Republican talking points, the flat out lies, the deceit and deception involving disaster relief by the federal government, Hurricane Helene. A full disclosure, this video could have been a 50 part series. There is a reason I have more screenshots like this in my phone than pictures of my children. For those of you who do not own a country club in Florida and should know better, hurricane season is in effect full swing right now. In fact, this is literally peak season time for hurricanes. It goes through the end of November. Republicans praising Donald Trump for his trip down to Valdosta, where he had another pep rally and said some lies. This is what a real president looks like. False. This is what being presidential looks like. President Biden is waiting until the governors ask him to visit because it's not about Biden right now. He doesn't want to impede any of the safety efforts. Only a real jackass would show up to a community impacted by a hurricane and make it about them. That, that really happened to Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria. Anybody remember that? No? Let's begin with the very blatant lies, the falsehoods that can be proven from the word go. And when PBS calls you out for spreading lies, you are done, sir. Like when Trump said that President Biden isn't returning Governor Kemp's phone calls. We have Kemp on video saying that he spoke with the president. The president asked him what he needed. The governor said, we're cool, we have it. And the president said, you know what? If you need anything else, just call me directly. And Governor Kemp said, I appreciated that. All of these states are underwater. Where are the president and the vice president? Doing their jobs. Governor McMaster says, the federal government is helping us. There is no asset out there that we have not already accessed. Trump is on True Social saying that Democrats are denying aid to Republican parts of the state. President Biden signed off an emergency declaration days before the storm hit. Look at the date of this, September the 24th, six days ago. This is why every single governor of every single state impacted by Hurricane Helene is saying, I'm so appreciative of the rapid response from the federal government. Thank you. We have what we need. That's because President Biden acted proactively. You see how he was doing his job? So these lies that you're seeing all over social media where they're saying that President Biden will help the country of Ukraine, but not the state of North Carolina are lies, lies, lies. They're getting community noted because it's false. Oh, oh, but you know what isn't false? When North Carolina needed $900 million after Hurricane Matthew, do you know how much Trump gave them? 1%, 6.1 million. This guy who's claiming to do so much for disaster relief wouldn't even give North Carolina the funds that they needed to help after the disaster in their state. We have actual record. Were you living in 2017? Because I was. Now we're going to talk about the Republicans who refused to vote for a continuing resolution that had additional FEMA funding in it. FEMA, those are the federal people that come give you money when the disaster strikes. Matt Gates voted against that and now he's asking for money. Also from Florida, Senator Rick Scott voted against that. In bulk, Republicans oppose the additional FEMA money. They, they don't want to pay for handouts, but they want the handouts. Remember when Governor Ron DeSantis was like, I don't want your $350 million because it's for climate funding and that's too woke right before Hurricane Adelia and then quietly took it the next year when he wasn't a presidential nominee anymore. Senator Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee acting like she's out here having anything to do with the federal assistance when she opposed both the bipartisan infrastructure bill and the recent continuing resolution to keep the government open. Ma'am, make no mistake, there is an active disinformation campaign right now ongoing to try to make the Democrats look less presidential and minimize the impacts of Hurricane Katrina because we, we know why rhymes with racism. If you want to hold anybody accountable, hold the Republicans accountable because they have pushed back on any type of climate change initiative. Republicans have played fast and loose with partisan politics and now they find themselves on the other side of that looking straight into a disaster and realizing that, that they need to convince the voters it's not their fault. But it is their fault and we can go look up congressional records to see what they voted on and how. And I'm just, I'm going to leave you with this. These people who are using doctored photos or old photos or photos from other countries entirely are being called out by Chef Jose Andres, who's like, hey, why don't you get down here and help instead of just lying on the internet? And listen, if you've been called out by Jose Andres on the internet, like you need to question your life choices because that man is a saint. In conclusion, the Republicans might be lying and the press and the reporters might be pandering to them, but the response to the Hurricane Helene damage has been proactive by this administration. And in future, if you or your family members have a problem with the amount of funding or assistance you're receiving, check with the Republicans because they're the ones who probably opposed it.